Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this another video tutorial, we will learn about the module. What is the module? How we can use it? How we can generate it? Everything that we need to know about module. So first of all, let's check out the points of the video. We will see what is the module. We will learn it theoretically with the help of diagram. Then uh, we will explore the app module. Then we will see that how we can make a module and how we can use it. Right. So one more thing before just starting this video, uh, never be confused between module and model. Model is a different thing which we learn in the upcoming videos and this video about the module, right? So now let's continue. So first thing is that what is the module? So basically module is the collection of interrelated components, services, pipes and directives, right? So now maybe you are not uh, aware about the services pipe and directives so you can just skip for the moment because we will learn in these things in the upcoming videos right so to simplify the uh, definition we can just say that module is the collection of interrelated components right so what is the meaning of interrelated and what is the meaning of uh, the collection right so let's say you just want to make a functionality of the users right which include the user login, user sign up, user password and uh, user settings and user, user profile and lots of things, right? So you can say that here users is a complete module, right? And uh, user login is the different component, user sign up is a second one component and user profile, uh, user setting and user listing are the different different components, right? So I hope you just get the points, what is the uh, module here right so now let's jump on the practical things now the second point is we just want to explore the app module right app module is provided the by default module by the angular right so just open the src folder and here you will find the app so here you will in the app folder you will find the app.module.ts right so now let's see what we are getting here so you will see that some files are imported here which have included some modules and components that simply means a module can have the internal module also right we can have a parent module then it have some child module also like the here right and uh, then uh, a module can also have the components right so if you just want to import the module inside a module then we can just import it like this right here and if you just want to use the components inside the module, then we can just simply declare them here, right? All right, so that's great. Now let's see that how we can make a new module. So just come to the command line and just get out the things. And here, I just want to make a module with the name of user. So just write here, ng, g for generate, m for module and uh, module name. So I just want to put the module name users and just hit the enter and now you will find a file inside a folder here which is like this so let's open it and you will find th there is a very less code a few code is here which is just imported a ng module and a common module here right so as i told you this is the collection of the module a uh, collection module is a collection of component that simply means at least one component should be there so let's make a component also so let's make ng g for generate c for component and i just want to make a login but if i'm just going to hit this enter it will not going to make this component inside the user module but if we just write here simply users slash login then the login module login component will be related to the users module let's try it now you can see that we got the uh, login folder inside here. So now let's say we just want to make one more component inside it with the name of uh, let's say user setting settings and all and just hit the enter. Now we have a two folder or you can say that the two component inside uh, users right. So user have our one module and it have the two components which is a small task here. So uh, that's great, but how we can use this uh, login module and uh, users module with the, this component and also, right? So for a moment, I just want to make some changes. Like I just want to put here H1 tag, right? And just put here 
users login component right because this is the component of users then let's go to the setting and just simply write here users setting whatever just want to put here like this and if you just want to make you can also write here h1 tag and all like this great so how we can show them on a ui level like how we can show them here for that we have to do the two things first is we have to go inside the uh, users.module.ts and we have to import sorry we have to export the things which is uh, uh, login and setting component right so just write here export and just simply write here login component comma setting components right which is simply setting uh, my bad which is setting component that's great and now we have to go inside the root module which is app.module.ts and here we have to just import something from um, users then module and just simply write here users module and just simply put it here inside the imports right now we can use the component which is uh, under the user dot module uh, we can use them anywhere right so let's say i just want to use the setting component and login component inside uh, app dot component dot html right so just simply write here app login like this and here okay so let me check Yep, I think this is the previous one code, so I can just uh, restart it and g surf. Yep, now this is working fine, and this is really cool that we are able to fetch the component from the users module. With a similar way, we can also use the setting components. So just simply write here uh, setting. Oh, that's my bad. Just write it again completely app setting yep and here you can see that we got a user setting page right so that's all if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care